bisa Seiu aku Jesus Seiu aku Jesus Somebody help me sing and say it's good, come on to him we were all in hell or experiencing some sort of hell hallelujah <laughs> it says hell is real it is real you know um, we've been taught that when we die if you don't give your heart to the lord when you die you end up in hell but we've come to the understanding that you don't have to die to go to hell you can be on earth and still be in hell still suffering and i bless the lord for this uh, powerful topic suffering surviving and soaring over hell Amen. and there are two things you need not to forget it says unless we surrender completely to jesus or unless we receive that knowledge hallelujah so that we are exodus from pain to what deliverance or from shame to glory hallelujah i want us um to stand on this scripture which is um if the man of god good morning um pastor clement let me oh. give you post hallelujah god bless you sir where are you okay there we go uh, okay hallelujah god bless you sir if we can pull up a third john um verse two third john verse two it says beloved i wish above all not some i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in what in health and even as thy soul prospereth, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, people. Somebody got to wake up this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody got to wake up this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. It says, I wish, I wish Amen. above. Can we all read this this morning together? Hallelujah. Amen. It says, I wish, beloved, wish above, I above, wish above, above all, all things. Thou may have prospered, even as thy soul prospered, even as thy soul prospered. Oh, my God, my God. This is the desire of the Lord for you and me. Hallelujah. And today's topic is what? There is hope. There is hope for the what? Captured soul. There is hope. I want you to pray this morning that even as the word is delivered, you will be delivered. It says, it, it says deliverance comes by what? Hearing. Faith comes by what? Hearing and hearing. Hallelujah. It doesn't, not the first hearing. There's always a second hearing. It says faith comes. So I'm going to declare this morning, we're going to declare, say your deliverance comes from what? Hearing the truth. It says you will know the truth and the truth will do what? Will make you free. I want Amen. you to declare this morning that you are being set free. The Father, as your word is deposited into my soul, may I be rescued from any captivity in the name of Jesus. Can somebody unmute this morning and begin to cry out that as the word is deposited to my soul, may I be rescued in the name name of Jesus. May I be rescued in the name of Jesus. May I be rescued in the name of Jesus. May my children be rescued in the name of Jesus. May anyone in my family that is lost be rescued in the name of 
Jesus. I stand in the gap in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. May my spirit be rescued in the name of Jesus. Father, rescue. Rescue us where we need rescue in the name of Jesus. Deliver us where we need deliverance in the name of Jesus. As your word is deposited in us, so that it says your word will make us free. The word will set us free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Over and over again, I am your God. Just give him praise. Give Jesus praise. Lift up your voice to the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Reggae de Barrow Zoli Carbado. Ah, Reggae de Barrow. And the Barrow Zekere Barrow. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Reggae de Barrow Zoli Carbado. Reggae de Barrow. Hey, on the Reggae de Barrow. We give him the praise. 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 Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for dominion. Thank you for victory. Thank you for victory. Victory. Thank you for victory. Thank you for dominion. Dominion. Thank you for dominion. Thank you for victory. Thank you, Jesus. Your voice, that's it. Give him the praise. He loves Jesus. He wants Jesus. We thank God for Jesus. God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't be quiet. Just lift up your voice. Just lift your voice and bless him. Lift up your voice and bless Jesus. Lift up your voice and bless Jesus. Lift up your voice and bless Jesus. Crooked paths are being made straight. Mountains are being leveled. Things are being broken. Things are being broken. Hell is suffering defeat. Hell is suffering defeat. Hell is suffering defeat. Captivity have been turned around. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. I want us to turn to 126 of Psalm. 126 of Psalm from from 1 to 4. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory be to God. I want to welcome everybody who is able to make it at this time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Amen. Of God, they're traveling, all the frontliners. 
for the will of God to be done. I just want to bless God for your life, and I just want to say thank you because we're making inroad into hell. Hallelujah. Amen. We're making inroads mm. and we're saving men. Hallelujah. Amen. And no hell is fighting back, but our victory is sure. Mm. Our victory is sure. We will dismantle the powers and the infrastructures of hell. Hallelujah. And we take over the territories and the terrain. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. I want Amen. you to know that the next six months, organize yourself and strategize yourself. To, to to take back your life, to take back your place in the scheme of things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You started somebody snoring. God, help yeah, us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory. glory, glory. To your name, Father. Psalm 126. <sighs> we're going to, we're going to, Praise God a minute. And then we're going to have this special number, which I want us to sing. And I'm going to project the lyrics on the screen real quick. We're going to project the lyrics, but not now. Let's just look at this scripture first. Amen. 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 Jesus, praise Jesus. There is hope for captured souls. Amen. There is hope for captured souls. Amen. Uh, Libarosha, there's Amen. hope for captured souls. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 126 Thank from verse 4. Because people, people of God didn't know that Christians can be in captivities or in captivity. Christians can be. And many times Christians who are in captivity or people who are in captivity are those who who have the slightest clue what is going on in their life. And sometimes they deny blatantly <laughs> that they don't have no captivity in their life. They argue vehemently that there's no such thing as captivity. Mm -hmm. And it, when you see people argue that there's no captivity or deny the obvious, it's simply because the same power that kept them bound is the same power that caused them to be oblivious, to be ignorant, to be, to be unaware of their mm -hmm. captivity. It's like a mad person. He or she's never uh, aware of her condition or his condition. The day he becomes aware of her condition, that day he's already healed of his lunatism. So it's dangerous not to know and not to know that you don't know. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. You see, this is Zion. This is the Israelites. They were in captivity and they were given testimony that when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, that means when he removed captivity, we were like them that dream. Amen. Have you ever achieved something in your life that you just couldn't believe? Couldn't believe you could be delivered. Couldn't believe you can achieve this thing. Couldn't believe you be sitting down in that seat among greats. Hallelujah. The great. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Look at what they said then. They said, then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue we sing it. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord has done great things for us. Hmm. The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams of the south. Mm. You must be aware of your situation. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of the Lord. And, and it's going to be our lips with laughter and joy. Hallelujah. We're going to be like them that dream. We're going to be like them that dream in our joy. We know no bounds. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Begin to rejoice for what the Lord is doing. Turning away our captivities. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your voice to Him. Lift your voice to Him. He's turning our captivity. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice. He said, we were like them that dream. 
Yes. You wake up and it's be like, am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? Oh, but you are free. You're not dreaming. You are free as the birds of the air. You are let, let out of the cage. The prison bars are broken. Give him praise. The of stagnations are broken. Give him praise. Give him praise. Liba rosa, li carvadosa, copa rosa, li carvadosa. Hey, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Liba rosa, copa rosa, li carvadosa. Liba rosa, li carvadosa, 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 li carvadosa. We were like them that dreamed. We were like them that dreamed. Hallelujah. We were like them that dream. Oh, glory. When he turned away our captivity. Yes. We were like them that dream. Yes. Lift up your voice. Just thank him. Sometimes all we need to do is overflow with joy. Overflow with joy. Overflow with joy. Marosa. Overflow with joy. Overflow with joy. Overflow with joy. Overflow with joy. Joy, we Amen. Amen. Brethren, we are overcoming. Mm. Yes. We have a dominion mandate mm. to expand the kingdom of God. Yes. To depopulate hell. Hallelujah. Amen. To raise down hell. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, glory. Glory. We're going to listen to this song and, and, and sing to it. The lyric is going to be on the screen. We want to save a little time. Hallelujah. I wish we can really Amen. worship more. Praise Jesus. You know, sometimes when Amen. we don't worship, I I want to I want to worship until we feel the dew of heaven on every single one of us. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, because it's morning. I want to feel that dew of the morning. And it comes by worship. Praise Jesus. Wake up, somebody. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Everybody say, wake up in Jesus' name. Wake up, somebody. Wake up, somebody. Wake up, somebody. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hallelujah. Because we are taking over. This song says, breathe on me. Breathe on me. So it's a prayer. Yes, Jesus. Breathe on me. Hallelujah. It's a prayer. It's just a prayer. And on the sixth day, may form them fashioned in your hands, in your image. And on the sixth day, may form them fashioned in your hands, mm -hmm. in your image created, in the likeness of thee, in the likeness of thee, mm -hmm. in your presence lay. The faithful potter's clay, faithful potter's clay. with every part of Adam's Adam being. Yes, he it was crying was and pleading, saying, Lord, breathe on me. Mm -hmm. Breathe on me. Feel this place. Feel this place. Uh, with the breath, with the breath of the Yes, just a prayer. It's just a prayer. Breathe on me. Sometimes. With the breath. And when the day of Pentecost. 
cost was fully come. They were all with one accord gathered in the upper room and in your presence lay the faithful potter's clay with every part of your being. Sometimes, you know, all we need to do is to cry from the depths of our hearts. From the depths of our hearts. Oh. Let him fill your house, your car, wherever you are. And the, the breath of heaven. The sixth Hallelujah. We are all in one accord. Oh, and we are gathered in, in this one place. Let every part of your being cry. Let it bleed this morning. I'm out of hell. I'm out of hell. I'm out of every chain that hurt me, bound. One second more before we. Up your voice, everybody. Just bless Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. Cry out to him. Fill me up. Fill me with your glory. Fill me with your breath. Hallelujah. Bread of heaven. The bread of heaven. The bread of heaven. Fill this place with the bread of heaven. Oh. I said, feel the slave Be the bread of heaven Hallelujah Be the slave With the bread of heaven Fill me up, fill me up, fill me up With the bread of heaven Heaven Be the bread of heaven can I hear your voice? Turn up your volume and praise him from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Lift him up, lift him up, bless him. Pray. Fill me up, fill me up, fill me up. Let your glory come down. Let your glory be poured out. Be poured out this morning. And chains be broken. Chains are 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 broken. Right, right, right of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Fresh power of the Holy Ghost. Oh, river of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Ah, fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. 
Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Igeri garos soto predi kalonos. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Igeri lande nitervoros. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Fresh breath of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Bring on me, yeah, yeah, yeah. With the bread of heaven. Feel the space. With the fire. With the fire of heaven. Feel the space. Hallelujah. Everybody, 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 Fire of Second more, one second more, hallelujah, lift your voice. Excited in his presence. Doesn't matter how tough it is, I'm telling you, break Andre Brando is a I want to save at least 45 minutes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Amen. glory be to If you are here and alive and oh, yes. excited that your yes. captivity is being turned around, shout hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory be to God. I say, if you are alive, awake, hallelujah. and you know that your captivity has been turned around, would you oh, shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. This song I would have loved to play, but we don't have time. Mm-hmm. But let me see if we can listen to just four stanzas of it. And and the song says, I'm pressing the upward way, say him, say him, which you know. Mm. And why the song saying, can, can the man of God help us pull up the, the ascending and descending, oh, descending uh, chat? I'm pressing on. 
We're pressing the upward, but remember, way, mm-hmm. new heights, Jesus, new heights, heights and gain. stature you're gaining every day. Aha, aha, uh-huh, uh-huh. yes. Still Thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. I I'm praying as I am up or bound. Lord, uh, plant my feet on higher ground. On higher ground. You can send that part. And let me stay. Let's take one more stanza. Hallelujah. <laughs> Heart has no my heart has no Hallelujah. desire to stay yes. to stay Thank in the you, world Jesus Way down to rise mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, some no some may drop but not you not me <laughs> but my desire my my aim and prayer is higher ground. Yeah. Higher ground. Yeah. Yeah. Live above the world, Satan's the world. Mm-hmm. And me, Reggae de Baron, Shadi Carbadosha, Faith, That's my prayer. Stop your voice. One second, just one second, just one second. Hallelujah. I know that's our prayer. Prayer. That's our prayer. That's our prayer. Thank you, Jesus. 
I wish we have more time to worship, but I know deliverance is taking place. I know. I know deliverance. Chains are being broken. I know it. And I know that the captivity are being turned over. Turn around. Hallelujah. And I know folks are on lead for the rest of 2023. You're on lead. On lead. On lead. Hallelujah. Chains broken in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. If you really want, if we want to walk on God, you got to, we got to trust the faintest manifestations of the power of God. The faintest manifestation of the power of God. You see, the chart on the screen says it all. We saw how Cain started from heaven, sorry, the, from Eden. If you look at this chart, you see that Eden, I think, is number three or five on the chart. Some of you think Eden is the greatest. No, it's not. We have the Abraham bosom above Eden. We have paradise. Then we have Mount Zion, Hebrews 12, 22. He said, we have come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, the Mount of God, the heavenly Jerusalem. You and I have come there. But we have something even higher than that. That is inside Christ is our house. We dwell inside him. And so you see that we're seated with Christ in heavenly places. We are in there. When you are there, there are different things that happen. You, 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 by looking at people, you can't tell where they are. I'm telling you. But when you look at their lives, you can begin to fathom. Maybe they are in hell or in captivity. Down the chart, region and shadow of death, under the marine powers whether they're in the wilderness or whether they have sunk so low onto the lower parts of hell or in the region of death. And the song says, I'm climbing from the bottom left pit. I'm climbing up, climbing from death, climbing from captivity, climbing from the marine powers, leaving them behind. The Bible says we are seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above dominions and powers. Hallelujah. <laughs> when you fight with witches, it means you're on their levels. Jesus. Some of us can't fight with witches because we are above their levels. Oh, Amen. Oh, Don't you see the chat? Witches dwell in those marine power. That's where they are. Um, they're not even so down in the chat. They're, they're just right there below the wilderness. That's yeah. where they are. But the mm -hmm. Bible says, you see, you see how high you go. Green pastures, shadow of the Almighty, Eden, Abraham, Bosom, Paradise, Mount yeah. Zion, Christ Jesus, heavenly places. That's where we belong. That is where we belong. I'm telling you, Christ in you, you in Christ. That's where you belong. Mm -hmm. this, is where, this is the mentality God wants us to have. But can Christians be in captivity? Of course they are. They can be in captivity. We saw how Jonah left the presence of God up on the chart and descended down, down to the bottom of death, to hell. You saw it on all our previous series. So don't tell me I'm born again, but I, I can never be in hell. Or I'm born again, I can never be captured. Oh, come on. There are too many Christians who are captured. But the good news is, no matter where you are on this chart, you can climb your way out by the power of the Holy Ghost. And that, and that is what we're, look, we're looking at really. Yeah, real quick. Hallelujah. Praise oh. God. The, the song says, plant my feet on higher ground. Oh. Oh. Can I show you an example of a higher ground? I, I wish we had some little time more. Now, listen, this, this series is ending today. But I want to begin to pray for the sick. I want to begin to minister to people. And that's why we're starting the way we're starting. So, of course, I'm going to be wrapping it up. But we probably will have a guest speaker next week just to give me some time to undo some other things. But we're going to take another two sections or two weeks to pray for the sick. And listen to me. You need to have faith in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's your only way out of hell. Hallelujah. The Bible says, how can we escape if we neglect this salvation? How can you escape? There's no way to come out of uh, chains, addiction, uh, and, and poverty, and, and stagnation, and all these things that have held people bound. There's no other way. The government comes and go. People remain the same. 
government changes, people remain the same. Doesn't matter whether it's a Democrat or Republican. This those politicians can help you. Only the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ can get us out. The doctors are doing their best, but the doctors can help you. Only the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ can get us out. Hallelujah. Amen. He has given us the tools. He has given us the provisions. He has given us the word and the mandate to climb out of hell and Amen. even go back and save others who are in hell. Amen. Look, Chapter 5, verse 5. Hallelujah. I wanted to see an example of somebody on a higher ground. Mm. Praise Jesus. Amen. Praise Jesus real quick. And, and, and we might be interspersing with prayer if we can, just to just as part of the series. And Simon answering Luke chapter 5, verse 5. Luke chapter 5, verse 5. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have taught all the night and I've taken nothing. These are folks in hell. What, mm. from, what, what is about to happen right now? Nevertheless, at thy word, oh, don't you just love the word of God? Mm. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to read it again. And Simon answering, Unto him, say, Master, we have taught all the oh. night and I've taken nothing. I know some of us on this line, your stories look like this. Maybe my story look like this. We've toiled all night, all year, oh, yeah. several years. I was mm -hmm. saying yesterday that some people, since they became born again, they read about the promises of Jesus, but they've never been able to actuate anyone. They've never been able to see the prosperity They've never been able to see the deliverance from sin. They've never been able to see deliverance from sickness. All these things have continued in their lives, and they've struggled with these things for the last 20 years, 15 years, 30 years. They have toiled all year, all year. And that's what Peter is saying here. We have toiled all night. Now, this guy, you may not know they're in captivity because you don't see chains in their hands. But this is a chain you're looking at right now. Because you are working, but you're not making enough. You're working, you can't make ends meet. Mm -hmm. You are in wilderness. That's where they are. Mm -hmm. Things are tough. Things are dry. <laughs> Nothing is flowing mm -hmm. your direction. There is no financial traffic. Mm -hmm. There is no flow. There is no supply. We have told all the night. And I've taken nothing. Mm. Mm -hmm. you follow me please help us check the lines hallelujah yeah. and when oh. they had done this mm. now but the peter said well i'm just gonna obey this man because he 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 probably doesn't know we are oh. expert fishermen he doesn't know that we've been here all night so let's tell him you know, I've already told you that without you changing your profession, if your location in the realm of the spirit can change, you will find out that your financial traffic will change. Amen. You will find that yeah. your body itself will change. Your health Amen. will change. Amen. You will find out that the way people react to you will change. Amen. Everything about you will change when your soul address changes. Oh. That's why the, the, the disciples says, I mean, if one twenty six, they say, when the Lord turned away our captivity, we were like them that dream. Mm, mm, mm. Our mouth was filled with laughter, with joy, with joy. because things change. Now, look, notice this guy walked so hard, they caught nothing. And when they didn't do too much work, what happened? Verse six. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes. And their net break, and they become unto their master, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. <laughs> they were in the same river, same sea. Mm -hmm. Those were not catching anything. Mm -hmm. Now they are mm -hmm. coming to help them now. What's the difference, brethren? Because when Jesus stepped into that place, it became a holy ground. When Jesus stepped into that river, mm. he became a holy place. He became a higher ground. 
It was hell before. But now, it has changed. Hallelujah. Amen. Is somebody follow me? Uh -huh. You see, what happened is that God wants to sanctify you. You will sanctify the very place where you are standing. I'm repeating, God wants to sanctify us. And we, we in turn sanctify where we're standing. In other words, when God is inside you or when God is with you, the very place you are standing becomes heaven. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot see heaven with your eyes. Mm -hmm. Did Jesus Christ say this kingdom doesn't come by observation? In other words, you can't see with your physical eyes. He said, but you will know that you are in heaven by the manifestations of divine, divine realities. By the manifestations of eternal realities. The question you should ask yourself is that where did this fish come from? Where were they? The fact that they toiled all night means that all the fishes must have been driven away, even if there was any fish there. But because when you are standing in the holy place, there can never be lack. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus stood in that place, Jesus knew why he told them, he said, do it again. Because now that I'm here, mm -hmm. this place mm -hmm. has become a holy ground. Hallelujah. Now that you guys are with me, this place has become a holy ground, a holy ground. He says, so cast your net again. Oh, listen to me. You follow me. As we're going to be ministry on this line in the next few weeks, praying maybe two weeks, there are things I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to bring your checkbook. I'm going to ask you to take pen. What? I'm trying to tell you to write check to me. Listen to me. This, I'm going to ask you to bring your application for jobs. Mm. Because the things you've done that's never worked, I want to show you how just by changing and translocating mm. can change the story. I'm going to ask you to do the yeah. same thing you've done that never worked. Mm. Mm. And it's going to work. Because your faith has reason. Your faith is on a higher ground. And your mm. position has been changed. So now what you were doing before that never worked will all of a sudden begin to work. Because... You were doing it in hell. But since your location has changed, Hallelujah. you'll be amazed that the same thing, the same stagnation, the same mm. the stagnation you have experienced for so long, mm. the delays you have experienced for so long, mm. the stumbling block you've experienced for so long, all mm. of a sudden is turned around because Hallelujah. your location just changed. That mm. very place became a holy ground. And what happened to a holy ground is that it also becomes a power ground. Mm. What happened to a holy ground is because it also become a, a glory ground, an abundant ground. That's holy ground for you. That's what the lady is singing, that my feet may be planted on a higher ground. Hallelujah. Amen. Exodus chapter 3 verse 5. Exodus chapter 3 verse 5. Let me show you another example. Exodus chapter 3, verse 5. And he said, draw nigh unto me. Draw nigh. This is God speaking to Moses. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet. Mm. For the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Now notice that place was not holy ground before. This mm. is exactly what happened to Jesus that you just saw. What happened to Peter and Jesus when God stepped into that place, that place all of a sudden becomes the kingdom of God. Yes. That place all of a sudden becomes a holy ground, which yes. means the devils run away from that place. The devil, the, all the demons are gone from that place. And now we are seeing the manifestations of the power of God in that place. The Bible said the bush was burning, but the bush was not consumed. And God spoke out of the bush. And God said, Moses, I know you've been passing this road. And I know you don't know this a holy ground now, because now that I am here, this place has all of a sudden become a holy ground. Mm -hmm. And he said, draw nigh unto me, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou stand mm -hmm. is the holy ground. Hallelujah. And brethren, that place became a place of power. Mm -hmm. Moses didn't know what, what holy ground meant. God said, let me show you what a holy ground means. 
Because a lot of people, you know, we've been teaching about the kingdom of God. They're wondering, if I'm in the kingdom of God, how will I know? You know how you know? Every check you write goes through. Do you know how you know every job you apply for goes through? Do you know how you know you don't feel sick in your body? Do you know you know you have no inclination for sin? Because the moment you step into that place, it becomes a holy place. So those charts, we look at the beginning. You see, as you climb up those charts, what happened to Peter and Jesus begins to happen to you. That's what happens. That's how you know that your position is changing. And if you keep climbing downward, the same lack that Peter was experiencing, you begin to experience that. Because it's a, it's a function of who, where you are. What makes that place a holy ground is because God is there. What mm-hmm. makes Eden and Eden is the holy ground is because God is there. What mm-hmm. makes paradise the, 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 the holy ground is because God is there. What mm-hmm. makes heavenly places heavenly places is because God is there. And mm-hmm. what makes hell to be hell is because God, God is not, not there. there. Mm, mm, mm. remember Cain said you have cast me away from thy presence Mm -hmm. I remember when Jonah left the presence of God what happened hardship began turbulence Mm -hmm. storms and waves and Mm -hmm. being swallowed up by fishes and Mm -hmm. being in hell beginning his life because the presence of God was not there so what you're noticing is that once the presence of God is in a place we begin to manifest divine realities. All of a sudden, there's no job that you apply for that doesn't accept you. There's no examination that you take you can pass. There is no endeavor that you put your hand to that wouldn't work. Remember what David said. He said, it shall be like a tree planted by water. Hallelujah. It will be evergreen. He said, whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Whatsoever. What David is describing is the manifestation of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. It's the manifestation of living hell. Oh, somebody follow me. This morning, brethren, as you're hearing the sound of my voice, as you're progressing, I'm telling you, don't look at things the way it's been. Things Mm -hmm. have changed. The place Mm -hmm. you are standing right now is a holy ground. Hallelujah. The place you are standing is a holy ground. And he told you, you couldn't catch no fish, but now cast your net into the deep and you will draw abundance out because the very place you're standing is a holy ground. Mm. Mm. That is the place. That is how heaven is being manifested because of the presence of God. Mm. A lot of people don't know the difference between the presence of God and, 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 and the <coughs> manifested presence of God. The presence of God is the government of God. Mm. It doesn't mean, you know, many times we say, ah, I've been in God's presence. God's presence extends as far as his government extends. Right now, we are in Biden's presence. For those of you who live in the United States, you are in Biden's presence. Now, you may not even see Biden face to face. You may not even hear his voice. You may not be in the city he is. He's in D.C. You may be in Texas, but guess what? According to scriptures, you are in Biden's presence because you are under Biden's government. Mm -hmm. Now, when you leave the United States, you are no longer in Biden's presence. That's what happened to Cain. When Cain left that place, what he meant is that you have, I have left your government. You are no longer governing me. That's what he meant. I'm now going to be under another government, which is Satan. He's going to be governing me now. So for people who are not in God's presence, they are in another city, another state. Mm -hmm. Remember the son, the the, the prodigal son. He said Mm -hmm. when he left to a far country, do you know the meaning of a far country is hell? Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible is mean by hell. He began to be in want. He began to lack. He brought abundance from home, which is heaven, in the presence of his father. But... After a while, he began to be in want. He began to live a riotous life. And the Bible says he joined himself to the people of that citizen. I'm sorry, of that country. He became a citizen of that country. And now his situation was even worse. 
He got a job, but it was never enough. How did he fix it? Did he say, I'm just going to get a better job? Mm -mm. I'm just going to get more degrees so that mm -mm. I can get a better pay. Mm -mm. Did he say, I just need connection. It, right, if I can connect to the right guys, I, I know things mm -mm. will be okay in this country. You know, that's mm -mm. what you, all of us do. Mm -mm. We are in hell. We don't even know we're in hell. We're in mm. wilderness. We don't even know we're in wilderness. Mm. We're experiencing stagnation. We're experiencing pain. But nothing mm. talks to you and say, like the prodigal son. He said, I will arise. Hallelujah. I know my problem is due to my change in address. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to arise from this address. Because I'm in this country. I don't even know what is going on in this country. There's lack in this country. But in my father's house. Mm -hmm. There is more than enough to eat and mm -hmm. to drink. Even the mm -hmm. servants of my father's house mm -hmm. have more than enough to give out. How come I am languishing here? This is mm -hmm. not a problem of a better degree of a better job. Mm -hmm. I think my location changed. And since that time, things change mm -hmm. because I'm no longer in the presence of my father. Now I'm experiencing uh, a sexual perversion. Mm -hmm. I'm experiencing lack. I'm experiencing mm. all kinds of crazy inclination. I am experiencing depression. I'm experiencing anxiety. I'm experiencing lack. I'm having all kinds of illness in my body. I'm having all kinds of financial problems. Mm. That's what the prodigal son says. In Luke, in Luke chapter, chapter 15. Can we read it? Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15. Oh, the presence. Mm -hmm. of God is the government of God. So when he left that presence, like Cain, like Jonah, the prodigal son began to experience trouble. Whenever you leave that government, that government, you're going to be experiencing problem. It doesn't mean God is with you physically, but the presence of God is the government of God. Mm -hmm. And as long as you're under the regime and the government of God, he made provisions for us. There's abundance. That's why we must climb higher, higher ground, higher heights. Don't use your wisdom. Unbeliever can get a better job. I mean, mm -hmm. unbeliever can try to solve their problem by trying to just get a better job because that's their world. That's the world in which they live. Mm -hmm. They have no choice. If they want to have a better choice, they need to come out of hell. They need to come out of that citizen, that, that country where they are. Jesus called it a far country. But the Bible says he came to himself. Somebody say, I'm coming to myself by the power coming, of the Holy Ghost. I'm coming, I'm coming to myself. To myself mm -hmm. Thank you. Power of the Holy Ghost. That's it. And when he came to himself, so some people haven't come to themselves. They are living in denial every day. Every mm -hmm. day. And he said, how many higher servants of my fathers have bread enough to eat and spare? I perish here mm -hmm. with hunger. I will arise and go to my father. Mm -hmm. Remember the words of Jesus. He said, I go to my father. Where I am, you will be also. Mm -hmm. This is the secret of abundance. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? Because wherever Jesus is, multitude of fishes. Wherever Amen. Jesus is, bread are being multiplied. Amen. Wherever Amen. Jesus is, blind eyes are being opened. Wherever Amen. Jesus is, deaf ears opened. Wherever Jesus is, there is no lack. Amen. Don't you get it? There is no lack. So the boy says, I will go back to my father. And, then he said, and, I said, and, he said, and he said, and he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Because his father knew that he was just ignorant. He strayed away. And the son said unto his father, Father, I've sinned against heaven and in thy sight. And I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Mm -hmm. The greatest prayer you can ever pray, brethren, is repentance. Mm -hmm. The greatest prayer you can ever pray is repentance. Prayers. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. It's hmm. repentance. But what happened to this prodigal son here? You may not fully comprehend the impact of it. And we're going to be closing on that. The impact of what happened to him. If this thing that happened to this boy or this young man can happen to us, 
if we can experience experience that grace that he experienced in that land, in that country where many of us are right now, I'm telling you, our lives will never be the same again. It is called the gift of repentance. That's what God gave him in that promise, in, in, that, in that far country. The gift of repentance. Mm. Many people have no ability to repent. Mm, 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 mm. Listen to me. If that's all you heard me say this morning, it's probably the greatest thing you've ever heard in 2023. Mm. I'm telling you. Mm. What happened to him? There are so many things he could have done. He could have got a better job. He could have tried to get a, a, a richer wife so he can have money. He could have tried to start robbing people. He could have tried to start making connections. Mm. The possibilities that may lend themselves to him as a better alternative are endless. But no, there was a grace over his life. The grace to repent. Repent. The mm. grace to repent is the grace for deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The grace to repent is the power to move God. There's nothing you can say to God to impress him than repentance. I'm telling you. Mm. As you have seen, when they came to the father, the father said, forget everything you want to say. It's okay. The most, the most important thing to me is that you are back. You were lost and you are back home. In verse 24, what did he say? My son have gone to the land of the dead people. Hell. Mm -hmm. And my son is hey. back alive. Mm -hmm. My Hallelujah. son was lost in hell. Mm -hmm. And now I have found my son. Mm -hmm. And they began to make merry. Uh, I'm reading somebody's dossier right now for 2023. Sorry, I'm telling you, this is your testimony. Mm. Because all the places you've been looking for help, the boy could have said, oh, all this problem I'm having, I'm going to get a better doctor, a better insurance, a better this. This is what the world do. I'm not against doctor. I'm not against a better economic plans. But I'm telling you, except the Lord build that they that labor, labor mm. in vain. Beside mm. that, as a child of God, the protocol mm. for your Thank success you. are in God. The provision mm. for your success are in mm. God. Mm. But the truth is that many cannot repent. Mm. 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 The power to repent. Mm. There are three mm. ways to come out of hell. One, people. I'm, I'm, I'm closing. Mm. Number one, people. You can never get into hell without the help of somebody. Mm. I didn't say demons. I didn't say spirits. Human mm -hmm. beings. Once you attach yourself to the wrong person mm. or person, mm. you find yourself in hell. hell. Because some of people mm. may ask, how did I even get here? Mm. You got here by the assistance of individuals in your life you came across. Mm. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 2, verse 18 oh to 19. Can somebody, can we open real quick? Oh my God, yeah. Jesus. Proverbs 2. There are three ways to repent, to come out of it. One is avoid hellish people. <laughs> avoid people who are in hell, except you're trying to save them from hell. Avoid them. Once you link with them, you mm. if they're in the desert, you find yourself in the desert. If you're in the land of captivity, you find yourself in the land of captivity. I'm telling you, this is as fast as quick. Mm. <laughs> the only relationship you should have with anybody who is in hell is to save him or her. Anything other than that, whether that person is in magazines, in books, on TV, or real life persons, their job, if they are already in hell, is to drag you with them to be mm. suffering. That's why many Christians who are unequally yoked are experiencing hell. I'm telling you, and they can never come out of hell until that yoke is broken Again. and there's a departure it's from funny. the individuals yes avoid people if you want to stay in heaven avoid people avoid mm. people who are hellish mm. a lot of reason people are in their situations whether you are sick in your body whether you are experiencing challenges in your marriage yeah. the reason you were experiencing that because you are you wrongly associated <laughs> and gradually, step by step, you were led into mm -hmm. that zone. Mm -hmm. 
and now you have been left there or you've been there struggling to get out all these many years and the only way to get out is repentance but the grace for repentance is not there though you listen to so many messages and though you've read so many books and have traveled to so many conferences but there's nothing happening in your heart because the grace that the prodigal son had you never have it you see nobody preached to him he came to his senses and that was and by one step he was delivered from poverty by one step he was delivered from all kinds of affliction by one step what is that step repentance that's what happened to jonah in the belly of the fish jonah repented in the belly of the fish he said god i will pay my vows Mm -hmm. i'm in hell I, I, I cried unto the lord forgive me for this error and for this evil you know many of us cannot even repent of our sins we don't even care about our sins we justify our sins we enjoy our sins we live in our sins we make excuses for our sins it's not your fault it's because the grace for repentance is not there it's not been released to you yet but this morning you will have it in jesus name hallelujah yeah. I mean, Amen. right now, this this Amen. time, the grace, the power mm -hmm. for repentance will come. Thank you. Somebody Jesus. follow me. Yes. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter two: For her house inclineth unto death, her path unto the dead. That's human being. That's a person. He say, her house inclineth unto death. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we read 19 for us? Can we go to 19 for us? Hallelujah. None Amen. that go to her returns again, neither take their hold to the path of life. You see that? You see, if you go to her, you cannot return and you can't see the life. You can't see the path of life. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 7, 27. Human <laughs> beings. And, and when he say her, it's, it's a, this is a typical information. This applies to men, applies to women okay this is not women this is not like lust or adultery or fornication it's talking about humans are the agent of hell her house is the way to hell her house is the way to hell going down to the chambers of death you see going down down that chat to the chambers of death the second thing that gets you out of hell or get you into hell is your tongue. Mm. Your tongue is a veritable locomotive equipment. <laughs> James chapter 3, 4 to 14. Maybe I'll stop in that scripture this morning. James chapter 3, 4 to 14. Mm -hmm. Your voice, your mm. tongue is not given to you. Uh, your mouth is not for food as much as for travel. <laughs> your mm. mouth is a travel agent mm. more than your feet your mm. mouth will carry you farther and further and faster than your leg will ever carry you mm. if you are going to be in hell it is by your mouth now if somebody did not lead you you may have been the one that led yourself in there mm. and how did you lead yourself there down the ladder by your mouth mm -hmm. your mouth can travel to anywhere in the realm of the soul and where your mouth go in the realm of mm. the soul that's where your body is going to be so you have got mm. watch the way you talk mm. behold also the ship which brought which though they be so great and are driven of fierce wind yet they are turned about with a very small helm whithersoever the governor listed read further hallelujah even yes, so the tongue is a little mm. member and boasted great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindling. Go forward. Hallelujah. Oh. Amen. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is mm. the tongue among our members that it delighted the whole body. It defiled the whole body and set it on fire the course of nature and is set on fire of what? Of hell. Yeah. Do you see that? Let's read one more. If we're in, I'll get one more. I'm trying to see where he said that the, the tongue direct you, direct you, direct mm -hmm. you. Are we in 14 already? Mm -mm. Oh, three, four. Okay. Just see where it said the tongue direct you like a, the ship. He said, he said, he say a ship. Say your tongue is like a rudder in a ship. It directs your whole body. So where mm -hmm. your, your tongue goes, that's where your body goes. That's where your body mm -hmm. goes. Hallelujah. You know, when I teach like this, I always wish we have time to 
apply what we're teaching. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, are you there? You know that you know the hallelujah. Praise God. Go to the next verse. I don't know if uh, it's hearing me. Go to the ever. For every every kind of beast and every bird of serpents and of things and seas tamed and bodies tamed. Hallelujah. I can't seem to see the one. Where, which verse is that, James? Um, three, four. Three, four. Thank you. Three, four. But isn't that what you read before? Three, four. Hmm. Okay. Behold also the ship. Okay, that's fine. Though they be so great, are driven of fair wind, yet are turned about. Are turned about. You see? So, it's talking about your tongue. How perfect is okay can we go back to verse 2 i need to just read this properly verse 2 for in many things we offend all if any man offend not in word the same is perfect and is and able to also to bridle the whole body behold we put beats in the horse's mouth verse 3 that they may obey us and we turn about their whole body so he's saying that if you can tame your tongue you can turn the whole of your destiny all around hallelujah Amen. Praise God. I want us to, I want you to stop. I want us to stop here. We're going to continue, like I said, and the continuation is not, it's going to be the application of deliverance. I mean, it's going to be the deliverance sections I'm going to be having. But I wanted to give this information as a background to all the things that's going to be taking place in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Second Amen. Timothy chapter 2, verse 25. As we pray, Second Timothy chapter twenty-five. I wanted to pray on this note. Second Timothy chapter two, verse twenty-five. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God peradventure we give them repentance, I want to mm. notice that. Mm. Notice the word peradventure. Repentance is not guaranteed. Mm. If it's not given to you, you may still be in that situation because the power to repent must be sought for vehemently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the power to be like that prodigal son and repent must be sought for before you even begin to pray for anything else mm -hmm. open your mouth and begin to say pa father the right. gift of repentance the gift of the repentance. power to repent hallelujah repent. because that is my passport out of every hellish situation granted to me in jesus name give us extra five minutes but i want to take this prayer for one minute hallelujah and as you take this prayer i'm telling you things are beginning to take place in your life for those receiving that grace right now the grace will be released onto you 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 open your mouth say father the grace to repent the power to repent open your mouth pray don't ask god to take you out of poverty don't ask god to take you out of sickness or whatever say lord the power the power to come out of hell by the passport of repentance grant unto me the name of jesus we we have only one minute to pray this prayer. Pray from your heart. Seek repentance with all your heart. Seek repentance and say, Father, I don't want to deceive myself. I don't want to pretend that I'm holy. I don't want to pretend I'm righteous. I don't want to pretend that all, all is well with me. I want to arise, the power to arise like the prodigal son. Give unto me so I can find my way back to the land of abundance. Hallelujah. One minute. Grant me the power of repentance. Grant me the power of repentance. Disconnect me and disassociate me with every hellish network in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Touch my tongues. Touch my tongue that it may speak only good and not evil. Turn our captivity around. Open your mouth. Don't be silent now. It's not time to come out and say, Father, I'm arising right now. 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 And I'm going to my Father.
father and I'm going to my father and I'm going to be with my father. I'm arising right now. Stop of sickness and disease are being broken off. The yoke and chains of sickness and poverty are being broken. Watch abundance. One minute more, one second more, one second more. Pray, 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 pray from your heart. Grant me the power of repentance. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. He forgave me. 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 Yes, Lord. He Five minutes of your time. Five what minutes. No man time. could give. Just meditate on, on to these me. words today. Hallelujah. Oh. Or guess and guess in case and Let's begin to thank God for the day of the deliverance. The day of deliverance has come. Commit yourself therefore to God and resist the devil. And he will flee from you in the name of Jesus. Let's submit ourselves this morning as we cry out for the grace to repent, for the power to repent. As we submit our will to the Lord, as we submit ourselves to the Lord. I want somebody to open your mouth and say, I submit myself to you, Lord. And I ask for the grace to repent. The grace to repent. The grace, it is a gift. Faith is a gift. Grace is a gift. Repentance is a gift. Thank God by your mercy. By your mercy, Lord. By your mercy. By your mercy, I submit. Open your mouth and say, I submit. I submit. Conscious about this word this morning. If you want to be set free, if you want to be made free, who the, he, who the son makes free is free indeed. Who the son sets free is free indeed. Somebody begin to pray right now in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. This is your testimony. This is your day of deliverance. You don't think you are in any but you know somebody in captivity. Your child may be in captivity. Your family member may be in captivity. Your best friend may be in captivity. In the name of Jesus. Don't take this prayers lightly. Don't take this word lightly. Because he came and he spoke the word. And the word became flesh. May this word become flesh in us this morning. May Jesus, say when Jesus stepped in, I want you to say, Father, step into my life, step into my situation, step into my circumstances, step into my surroundings. In the name of Jesus, give me the grace to disconnect myself from all hellish people. Give me the grace to disconnect. Rebo sutu rikete rebe boya rebe sonda. Give our children the grace to disconnect. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray this morning. This is a matter of life and death. This is a matter of life and death. Do you want to continually stay in hell? In that circumstance that you are in, do you want to continually be stagnant? Thinking that 
It is not okay. It is not okay. Somebody pray this morning. In the name of Jesus and ask the Lord for the grace. The grace. Yes, Jesus. James chapter 4 verse 7. James chapter 4 verse 7. It says, submit yourselves therefore to God. Oh, Father, we submit to you this morning. We ask for the grace to repent and the power to repent and the power to disconnect disconnect oh you see God said if you are lukewarm he will spit you out it's either you are cold or you are hot the grace the grace the grace oh rabbi it says but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. Oh, yes, Lord. But he forgets to our situation. Step into our circumstances. Step into our surroundings. Father, step into my life today. And when he came back to his senses, he came back to his senses. He came back to his senses. He came back to his senses. Yes, Father, may we come back to our senses where we we have been where uh, Rabbi Sotorebe is said where we have been captured. May we come back to our senses to reality to reality in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, Amen. Jesus, step into that, step into that situation, step into that circumstances, step into that surrounding, and step into our lives. And deliver us, deliver us, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. Happy, happy July 4th. I know many will be on break today. Go back and listen. It says, And the word became flesh. May this word become flesh in you and in me may we be delivered from our own consciousness from ourselves from our own limitations from our own pridefulness may we be delivered in the name of jesus i want to thank everyone who have been able to stay even giving us five minutes god bless you I know you have been blessed this morning. I have been blessed. Thank you so much, uh, man of God. More grace to you. Amen. Oh, Rabbi Sita, more grace. More grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Rabbi Sita, ya Rabbi Sita. Amen. We never take a break because Amen. the devil doesn't take no break. There is something called Amen. hell's intercession. I've seen it before. <laughs> 20, 2015. They are always interceding against you. And if you are not on fire, and if you are not hot, mm. and if you think you can play lukewarm, the devil says, what, what do you think? He's laughing at you and me. So what game do you think you're playing? Mm. Being, being fake. Oh, Father, forgive us and help us. You see, God sometimes will give you to your own desires. He would, if, if you are stubborn and if you are disobedient, do let you be. Father, we thank you for this day. This day of deliverance. Yes. This day of um, freedom from captivity. Freedom. 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 Say, I am free. Say, I am free to I am free. I am free in the name of Jesus. I am free in the name of Jesus. I am free in the name of Jesus. I am free. Oh, Rabba Setaya. Hey, hey. 
<laughs> Father, we thank you. Oh, we're going to continue this tomorrow morning, same time. We're just going to take what we've learned and we are going to pray. And we're going to cry out. Enough is enough. I don't know about you. Sometimes we need to be tired and tired of where we are, our location, our position. If you don't know the position you have in Christ, and if you don't know where your location is and you need to change locations, because he said, if your location in the soulish realm changes, your location on earth shall change. He says, but I wish above all, all things that you, what will happen to you and me us that even your soul your soul will prosper and you'll be in what good health good health oh rabbi say we are being exodus from pain to deliverance from shame to glory from slavery oh rabbi say thank you father Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to um, thank, um, I see Sister Rachel all the way from Nigeria. God bless you. You are blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. Pastor Beatrice from New York, you're blessed. Mm. Sister Esther from Ghana, you are blessed. Minister Monroe from Georgia, you are blessed. Sister Kimberly from Maryland, you're blessed. Sister Susie all the way from Maryland, about 10 minutes away from me, you are blessed. It's good to have you this morning. Hallelujah. Evangelist and Gozi from New York, you are blessed. Hallelujah. And highly favored. Hallelujah. And highly, Amen. and you are walking in dominion and power in Jesus mighty mighty Amen. name Pastor Ishbak all the way from Amen. Pakistan you are blessed I want you to declare this morning that Amen. I am free Amen. who the son sets free is free indeed who the son makes free is free indeed Amen. hallelujah Amen. minister Usas all the way from Canada you are blessed this morning go in this blessing go in this authority go in this knowledge and apply it hallelujah remember to Today is um, Independence Day. If you give me two minutes of your time, I want us to pray for this nation. Yes. Lord. Oh, yes, oh yes, my yeah. God, my God, yeah. my God. And don't miss tomorrow because tomorrow we're going to, I'm going to deal with certain things regarding this nation. Hallelujah. We got to yeah. pray. We're going to pray because today is Independence Day. We're going to pray for the soul mm -hmm. of this nation. Listen to me. Oh, I yes, said the soul yes. of this nation because Hallelujah. this nation has a soul. Hey, oh, yes. we're going to pray, oh Lord, deliver mm -hmm. this nation from the, the, the camp of the enemy. Deliver this nation because this nation is also under captivity. So we are praying in Jesus' name. Join me in prayer right now. Two minutes. We are lifting the United States. In America, and we are crying out, Oh God, deliver this nation! Deliver this nation! Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. Deliver this nation, Oh God. Deliver this nation in the name of Jesus. Deliver this nation in the name of Jesus. From the uh, it says, resist the enemy and he shall flee. Resist the devil and he shall flee. Oh, Rabbi, say we bring this nation under your care. Rabbi Sunda, Father, we stand and we repent on behalf of this nation for some of the laws and the rules that they have spoken. We stand and repent for this United States, oh Lord. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy upon this nation, oh God. We repent for this nation. Let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy, God, let your mercy. Have mercy upon this nation, Lord Jesus. Oh, we pray for the president. Let's pray for the president of the United States, Biden. We lift you up before the Lord to this morning. That the Lord will reach you. That the Holy Ghost fire will reach your ears. Bring men of integrity, men of holiness, 
to you, just to you. We bring Camilla before you this morning in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, pray for your elders, pray for your governess. We pray for each one of them for their soul to be delivered in the name of Jesus. So let God arise and let the enemies wipe scattered in the name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus, 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 listen, second, first Timothy 2, 1, 2 says, I urge then first of all that petitions, prayers, intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people for the kings and all those in authority that we may live peacefully and a quiet life in godliness and in holiness i leave you with this scripture even as you go and celebrate july 4th i know there'll be a lot of barbecue out there i need you to meditate this land is a land of freedom this land is a land that every culture every person from all over the world it's a unique land to be on this land. It is unique. It's a blessed land. Yes, yes. And if you are on this land by the grace of God, you can stand and weep and cry. Oh, I don't want to go deep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are reasons that I discovered even why... <laughs> Our ex-president didn't make it. There are reasons. You cannot defile. You cannot defile the chair. Right. And think you can be king. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to stop right there. On point. Hallelujah. You cannot That's defile right. the king's That's right. That's right. The chair. You cannot make mockery. You can never make mockery, or you can never make even mockery of those in authority. If you if you're on this line and you make mockery of even those in authority, stop it. Stop it. Because God does it. Even if the person is in error, you have no right to make mockery of anyone in authority. Whether a man of God or whether a king or a president, you cannot, whether they are, they are living a bad life, you cannot speak against them because it comes with something you don't want to know. The Lord taught me this a few weeks ago. You can never make mockery. Whoever God places above you, you must honor. Whether they are bad, whether they are wrong, you must learn to honor. I'll leave it there. Mm. Father, we thank you this morning for your word. Thank I you, lift thank each person on this altar and their families thank before you, you. That you continue to preserve. I declare Psalm 121 that you preserve each one of us. Thank our you. going and our coming. Mm. Even our children when we are not there. Preserve them. Protect them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The name Amen. above all names. Father, you said, the sun shall not smite us by day, nor the moon by night, that you shall preserve us from all evil. Preserve our soul, even as we have prayed for repentance. Preserve our soul. Our going and our coming. In the name of name Jesus. Of Jesus. We shall not sleep or slumber. That this word, Holy Spirit, will continually ring in our ears and oh. our hearts. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Papa. Let's share the grace. Thank you so much for staying grace. behind. God bless you. I know today is a holiday and uh, maybe many of you are not working, so you're still online. God bless you. God bless you. I want to, um, let's see, I think I acknowledge everyone. You're all loved and um, God be with each one of us. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forevermore and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, 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 goodness and mercy is following us all the days of our lives. We are dwelling in the house and in the presence of the Lord, in the love of the Lord, and in the wisdom of the Lord forever and ever. Minister Athia, good morning. Good morning. I think I'm. You. Morning, Pastor, I love you. God bless you, sister Kimberly. You're blessed. You're loved. Hallelujah. I want you to declare to somebody that you are free. You are free I'm, in Jesus' I'm name. I'm free in Jesus' name. And I am walking in you freedom. I am walking in dominion in the name of Jesus. There's never been a moment you were forgotten. You are not hopeless. You have been broken, your innocence stolen I hear you whisper underneath your breath I hear your rest always, your rest always I will send out an army Find you in the middle of the darkest night It's true, I will rescue you There is no distance It cannot be covered over and over You are not defenseless I'll be a shelter I'll be your armor I hear you whisper underneath your breath I hear your rest always, your rest always I will send out an army to find you Stolen 
Fine. 